mouth is dead. All right, welcome to uh, everybody's final home meet of the season. All right, um, well, class for again, Northeastern. I'd like, it's our senior night. I'd like to recognize uh, the seniors here, both for Plattsburgh again from Northeastern, competing in your last regular season match of your high school career. So congratulations for making it through. Uh, from Plattsburgh, we have Robbie Lamb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Robbie, you guys got to lane five. Ooh, got himself a flower. Dustin McKinley. Ryan Beebe. Oh. Oh. Nikita Stifler. Not here. Okay. And Justin Schaefer. Oh. There's a Plattsburgh High School seniors. All right, Northeastern Clinton. We this have is Dave one Coates. senior. So I'm lucky enough to be having this uh, pretty big returning lineup next year. Our one senior is Zach Catanzarita. <laughs> Zach has a little speech written here. I will read it because public speaking is not his thing, and people like to hear me talk. So. As this being my only year as a bowler on the NCCS team, I would like to touch on a few highlights if you can spare your time. First of all, ordering jerseys became a task in itself. Jerseys came back as Cantanzarita, which I can understand that, not Catanzarita. But the company claims that it was, they were not at fault. I gave them the correct spelling, by the way. All right, a few weeks later, jackets and shirts came back. And again, the Catanzarita parents had Zach and Nate rather than just Zach and Nate, two separate names. Thanks to Kim McGoldrick for getting the jerseys corrected. The new people and friends I have made this year is just like me throwing the ball in the gutter, a lot. During each match, I can truly say it's not over till the last pin falls. Many times I was just that, the last bowler, and always waiting till the last pin fell. Anytime I was not sure where to stand, where to throw the ball, I would ask my coaches. And in amazement, sometimes their advice did work. <laughs> to Coach Danielle, keeping me focused and helping me through all the frustrations I truly appreciated. You coach, thank you, and you are welcome. Coach Coates, that would be me. You do like kids, so don't try and kid us. That's not true. Thank you for giving up of yourself and helping teach all of us the game of bowling. Something we can take with us into our adult lives. I was not sure of this bowling thing, but my brother mate, Nate really loves to bowl, so I gave it a try with him. We joined the Saturday morning league at Bowl Mart, run by Myrtle Hoxby. To Myrtle, thank you very much. Lisa Lampham, Kim McGoldrick, Tara Sisko, and Kendra Hoxby. Thank you for being there and always cheering us kids on and offering some bowling advice. To Mark, offering to take me bowling, trying to teach me how to throw the ball, stand, and reminding me to take my time. And thank you for being a positive male role model in my life. And one of the proud moments I can share about this bowling year is during the match against Beecham Town, I actually had a higher series than my brother Nate. He had to get that in there. <laughs> it was quite a ride home. All right. That's Zach Catanzarita. Thank you, Zach. Right. The lone senior. I believe that Zach has a couple things to pass out to people. Oh, we got some flowers. Boom. Oh, an envelope for Mr. Coates. <laughs> Alright, Ms. Coach right. David Coates. Coach Thank Danielle Tierney. Good luck and we will start our practice. That's it. We are at the North Ball Lanes. It's the last day of, the of January, January 31st, 2017. And it's senior night here, as you may have guessed. It's, we're going to be here very briefly. We have to get to a Bobcat Cougar basketball game, but we wanted to make sure to get here because it was senior night. Well, it's Plattsburgh and the Cougars here coming up to you right here, right now, very briefly, on Hometown Cable. Little well, Calvin Castine here at the North Bowl Lanes, and we got Hebert bowling over there. We'll give you the, all the names, and uh, McGoldrick knocking down eight pins. Look, Hebert. 
Cassidy Nixon, Sabrina Fair for the Cougar Girls, only three. For the Hornet Girls, it's uh, Nikita Stifler and Natalie Slick, Emily Seymour, Sierra Bebo, and Jessica Schaefer. We got a correction here. I just, just lost my sheet there. Dave Cox took my sheet away. So here's Zach Canton Zarita. And our own senior who's on the B team for the Cougars. That's not Zach Canton Zarita. That's Zach somebody else there. This is Zach Canton Zarita. So the A boys, the Cougars, Josh McGoldrick, Andre LeBlanc, Tyler Lapham, Nate Ket Ketanzarita, Gabe Sisko. The A boys for the Hornets, Mark Hager, Ian Boba, Colby McKinley, Dustin McKinley, Ryan Beebe. The B boys for the Cougars, Matt Jolliker, Zach Coughlin. Jacob Jarrett, Greg Delisle, and Zach Catanzarita. B bowlers for the Hornets. Jason Alger, Caleb McKinley, Hunter Finney, John Ashline, and James Hitchie. Not that uh, in relation to Craig Hitchie. There's a bunch of pins by Sabrina Fair. I saw her sister. Uh, there we go, right there. Let's see where. There, we are. there she is. There's her sister with her youngster. And there's the bus driver, Mr. Lemaire. And there's some other folks there. Everybody enjoying the bowling at the North Bowl. That's fair. Go on, knock him down. For, oh. uh, I guess I was going to have to show her how to do it, I guess. Is that Nate Captain Zarita? Gregory Delisle over here. Cougars have their names on the back of their shirt, so it makes it a lot easier for me to pick up who's, who's out there at a given time. Ooh, only one pin. Here's uh, Nate Catanzarita, Catanzarita getting a, a spare. Temperature 25 degrees and we shut our vehicle off today. Overnight low at my place of 0 0.08 above, below, below, or below zero. For the first time in a, in a long time. Almost got through the month uh, above zero. Like I said, uh, Burlington this year for the second year in a row that uh, not have a below zero reading for the whole month of in Burlington. There's that. that he gets nine pins. Gabe Sisko up now. So this will be a very brief uh, coverage here. We've got the Northeastern Clinton boys basketball at Northern Adirondack, and anytime the uh, Cougars and Bobcats are playing, uh, we got to try to be there, and uh, that's where we're heading out to. The strike for Novovic. Hebert gets uh, five pins. There's a spare for Zach Catanzarita. There's Hunter LeBlanc. Apologize to all the Plattsburgh. Uh, there's Nixon, Cassidy Nixon. All the Plattsburgh bowlers. They don't have their names in the back of their shirts. And trying to look at three lanes. It's kind of tough to pick up who's out there at a given time. I got to look up above and look down below. And so try to take their pictures, but. Uh, Vicky McMillan is the coach, and I thought uh, Scott Beebe also coached. So I'm not sure I've seen him here yet today. Coach, 
For the Cougars, it's uh, Dave Cox, assisted by Danielle Tierney. There's nine pins for Fair. There's a spare for that fella. There's a lapping for the Cougars. Lapham picks up uh, a strike. Fair going for the four pin, looks like. What is it? Matthew Jolico over that away. Like Hebert again over there for the Cougars. There's a spare for Hebert. Mixing up for the Cougars. Another Stifler. Nate Gonzarito. Looks like he got a strike. Oh, no, so slick for the Hornets. Uh, Nixon for the Cougars. Dave Sisko got a strike. And Nixon misses her spare. Jacob Jarrett. Got a couple of pins. Fair leaves the one, two, four. I guess he didn't get a couple of pins if he only got one. As your bowlers thus far for the bigger B team. There's McGoldrick coming up for the Cougars. And he strikes. How's he doing? Double, okay. LeBron next. 1-2-9 uh, left over there by uh, Delisle. Really left just the five pin. Amazing all those pins can fall down and the five pin still stands, isn't it? The one right in the middle. It's like uh, breaking a uh, in pool, and people can do it and leave the uh, eight ball right in the middle. Paul the ball gets a spare that uh, didn't happen for uh, Delisle. Here's Zach Catanzariva, the lone senior. The uh, one, three, six, and a spare for Tyler Lappin. Jolico knocks down nine pins. Oh, we got Captain Zaritos at both sides here. Here we go. Nate gets everything but the seven. Zach will miss that head pin and miss his spare. Oh well. There's Jolico. He picks up his spare. Alright, we're at a point where we're going to have to get out of here. And make 
Captain Gurita gets his spare. I'll wait till my bowl rig bowls and we'll leave. There's a strike for uh, Coughlin. He leaves the one, two, four, ten. Francisco gets a strike. Uh, we should point out that Tyler Lapham has a turkey. He has three strikes to start this this game. Jarrett and Hebert. Hebert picks up his spare. Jarrett leaves the uh, like a, a three pin. Mixing up for the Cougars. <laughs> A strike for Nixon. Jarrett going after his three pin. He will pick it up. from Plattsburgh getting up and starting this uh, next frame over here. Cougars are done. We're waiting for, uh, this must be BB up there now. Fair gets uh, everything but the four pin. Delisle. No, it's not BB, that's uh, Dustin McKinley. He's got to go get a special ball here. Picks up her spare. Delisle has a 3-10 baby split. <laughs> he picked it up right between them. Right? Well, well done. There, okay, here's the... Uh, BB, he strikes, so I'll bring up McGoldrick next on that one. Here's Zach Catanzarita, so we get to see the lone senior one more time. Uh, we're planning on being back here on February 11th for the uh, sectionals. He leaves uh, four pens. The one, two, four, eight is Magolwick. <laughs> hey, he, he just saw that uh, a baby split picked up, so he thought he'd give it a try. There's Zach Catanzarita, the lone senior for the Cougars. Picking up his spare. And as soon as McGoldrick throws his ball, uh, the baby split, he will, oh, nope. Yes, oh, the hard way. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. Hometown Cougars look at senior night here at the North Bowl, Cougars and Hornets. Coming at you. This is Viewer Supported Local Television, Hometown Cable. We cover as much as we can. We made a special trip from Champlain to Plattsburgh to be here just to get this 20 minutes of video. So if you appreciate Hometown Cable and the coverage we try to give the community, we appreciate hearing from you. In the meantime, thank you for watching. And for those few of you who do support Hometown Cable TV, worthy of your support. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.